Hi Fire Sign, welcome to my channel. We're doing your daily love soulmate relationship for Thursday, December the 7th. Okay. If you're a Sagittarian, happy birthday. Okay. Woo, let's see what's going on. Um, there are things flashing down there. Please help yourself. Okay. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Um, please do subscribe to our daily um daily dollar on the Vimeo page, okay? Because it's here. Um there you get, you know, you get the whole reading. Okay, for dailies in a different, uh, in a complete basically, in different, basically a different. Okay, <laughs> so let's see what's going on. It's hard to explain every time. Okay, here we go. Fire sign. Let's see the situation that you're in, and at the same time, how it pans out, and how they feel towards you in an extended read. Let's see what's going on for Thursday. You have your five of wands. Okay, this is. Um, struggle with regards to um, there are other factors here because you know the five of ones here is like there's different different you know people around the connection interfering that's what I'm seeing here with this deck okay is this uh, um, conflict by other people's opinion like you know when you have to keep stuff to yourself or else you know people just has to dip you know this is double dipping that's what I call it um, Okay, and you have your eight of wands. Someone's traveling. Okay, this is meeting you, talking back and forth, messages. Okay, messages, and then there's there's a conflict with one person over here, because these are external. The person that you're connecting with, they communicate with you, but you don't know that they're having some sort of issues behind the scene. Okay, because I'm sensing this from this one, and then the other one is total. You know, they don't have that energy. Let's see here. Okay. Mm. Eight, five of Wands is a person who needs to decide. Okay. Matters of the heart. Okay. If it's not conflict, um, there's matters of the heart. And they're going to go with the matters of Eight of Cups. If that's a struggle that they're in, then they have the Eight of Cups over here. They're walking towards the Two of Cups. They're leaving the conflict. Someone here is, is eight and eight, so you know, soulmate, definitely infinity number. Um, someone that you have a tie with. They're gonna live that difficult situation because there's too much conflict. Okay. Either they see you, you see them. Nine of Wands. Persistence. Okay, this is fighting for something that you feel that is right. The wounded warrior. So someone here is communicating from a distance or traveling or seeing or you're in love with someone because it's a Cupid's arrow and you're fighting for these feelings. And they're having their own battle over here. Not you, you don't you're not even part of the battle. You, your own battle was to win this person, you know, not as a prize, but you know, to to you know, if this is just your goal, then you know, you're fighting for your goal. And this person is walking towards you with the eight of cups. Okay, seeing the connection. Because you're walking away from the uh, from the Conflict number five can be an Aries, Scorpio over there. Okay. Two of Pentacles. This is them walking away, then trying to handle a difficult cycle, a different a difficult situation. But it's like, you know, going with it though. You know, it's difficult, but they can handle it. And then the other person is fighting for the connection. Five of Swords, another conflict over here. There's gonna be a conflict. That you're waiting for them, you're fighting for them. This is disagreement. Disagreement because the other person is in limbo. They already walk away. You already know that they separated themselves from whatever conflict. They're in limbo and you don't understand it. You're going to have this a potential argument, you know. This is having pride, you know, showing it's like, I have fought for this. But you're fighting it for a wrong reason. That you're fighting it with pride. Mm. Three of Swords person in limbo is heartbroken if you guys have um do encounter the argument they are gonna feel that they're going to a difficult cycle two of ones it's like you're living this person it's like i come to see you you know you were supposed to see me or we're supposed to have this agreement and then this person doesn't doesn't go with the agreement and then here you're choosing a path you're gonna tell them it's like i only have you and then the other person is heartbroken because um, they're in limbo. The person is um, either not ready. They're in a difficult. They have difficult set cycle over there. The other person is just giving. The other person is just there fighting for this. 
but you know for the real I mean, again for the wrong reason pride the cups where's the cups king of wands over here can be another fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarian both are looking um, not looking at from each other okay the other person doesn't give up the star card they're gonna reach this high high vibration over here, but the other person has a star card. That's why they never give up. This is their hope. This is they feel that they are connected with this person. The destiny brought this other person towards this person who's having difficulty in their life. They came out as a king of wands. They're gonna get over whatever cycle over there. Okay, let me see here. Yep, and then they got they give an offer over here. Ace of wands. Okay. So this is what they're gonna have. That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna follow their intuition. Uh, this is not intuition. They're gonna follow their passion, the fire inside them, and then they go. Okay, they're gonna go. They're gonna make that offer. Fiery nature, impulse. Someone is just gonna go on an impulse over here. King of Wands. I'm awakened after a difficult cycle, and then they come here. Okay. Now I'm gonna continue this reading, guys, on how it pans out further, fire sign for Thursday, and also how they feel towards you. Thank you very much. This.